Is this $10 foundation a dupe for the $60 foundation? Let's find out. This is one of my absolute favorite foundations. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. We already know that L'Oreal True Match is a great dupe for this, but let's find out if the Pro Glow Infallible is too. This one also has some SPF in it and it has a radiant finish, so maybe it'll be more like this one. So on the left, I'm gonna do the Luminous Silk. And again, I always go for that your skin but better look. I never want anything too heavy on my face. I want my skin to look like my skin. That's my sunglasses, by the way. I don't have bags. You can see the Luminous Silk. You can see it looks beautiful on the skin. It's nice, radiant. It looks like your skin, but better. It has that nice skin-like finish and it is gorgeous. So this is the first time I'm trying it on camera with you guys. You can see the thing is still on there. It is a skin tint, but it does look a little more watery than the Giorgio Armani. A little known fact, L'Oreal actually owns Giorgio Armani and they Oh, I do not like the way this smells. Oof. Oh God, I do not like the way this smells at all. It smells like there's paint thinner on my face. What the heck? Oh my God, that smells so bad. Okay, anyway, little known fact, uh, L'Oreal actually owns Giorgio Armani. L'Oreal True Match and the Luminous Silk are very similar. This one is a water base as well. It is also very light. It is a skin tint with a medium coverage, which is nice and it is buildable. It kind of has a yellow tint in the background for me and I really don't like that. Like that looks so bad on me versus this looks nice and pink and pretty. This is yellow and it makes me look almost sick. Okay, so I'm actually gonna stop here and not continue putting on my makeup because I'm about to take this off. Oh my God, it literally smells like paint thinner, y'all. That is so bad. I don't think I've ever given such a bad recommendation on my channel before. If you like this, cool, this smells terrible. As far as the coverage goes, it actually has a really nice medium coverage and it does have a nice skin like finish as well it also feels a little more oily compared to this side but it does actually look good on the skin i don't see any big issues with it it's not sticking to my dry spots which i want to expect from a tinted moisturizer final thoughts yes this can be considered a dupe for this because it actually does look really nice on the skin it does kind of look like this side obviously this side's a little bit better but yes this actually looks really pretty on the skin no, I would not purchase this. I actually don't recommend buying this because it smells like paint thinner.